Hello! Do you want to know how to make this whiteboard animation? Okay, that's a dumb question. Of course you want to, that's why you clicked on this video. I just need to try and make this last long, so you can see how it looks. Now I will be putting a random picture on screen. This is the picture, a thumbnail. Now I will put a random chart on screen. This is the bar chart, and I will add some colour. Now we'll do a pie chart, and of course with some colour. Then we'll do one last which is a line chart. I'm not sure if there's colour here. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a whiteboard animation. So to create this animation we're going to be using a program known as Videoscribe. Now Videoscribe is paid, however there is a trial version so you can definitely try it out, and in this video I will be using the trial version throughout. Now if you do like it then of course you can buy it, in my opinion it is very cheap, you can see £18 per month, uh, around about $25 per month, so super cheap there, you can also pay a yearly or you can then pay a one time fee. So here we are, this is Videoscribe, you will need to make an account, simple email and password and that's it. This is what you'll be presented with when you open up Videoscribe. There is an example set up, this one says test, this is one I created for the intro. Now I'm going to select create a new scribe. As you can see we get this blank canvas, pretty simple. So what do we do? Well, you can see at the bottom right, this is basically everything we'll need. We have an image, we have text, and we have charts. Which one do you want to use? But before we do all that, we want to maybe pick a different background. So we come up to the top and you can see it says paper, texture, and color. Select this, and you can see these are different types of textures we can have on the background. So you can see it's just put these rigid lines there. Uh, one that I like is this one here, simply because it's darker and text will show a lot nicer. Also along the top you can see we have scribe music, we have a voiceover, so you can literally make your entire video directly into video scribe without any other video editor involved. Now of course in the intro I used examples such as drawing a chart, making text, drawing out an image saved on your computer, and of course just drawing an emoji. Pretty simple. And that's what I'm going to be going over in this video. So this is your canvas right here, and what we're going to be doing first is adding on some text. So the text is one that says TT, you can see as you highlight over it, it says add new text. Select that, from here it says your text, you can add what you want to. Now I'll put welcome to my video, this is just an example of course. Now by default it is set to a basic font, if you want to add new fonts just come to manage fonts. And every font that is on your computer and every font you have downloaded in the past will be here on the side. If you want to add one just select the plus button. Then from there, you would select it from here. I'm leaving mine the same. I'm then also going to position my text to the center. Here, there is a color picker, which means you can change the color of your text. For the tutorial, I'm just gonna go with a blue, just so you know it does change color. I'm gonna select the check, select the check again. As you can see, the text now appears. So, I can play this through. We can preview it by at the top right by pressing play. Welcome to my video, super slow. So how do we change the speed of the text being written out? Well you can see at the bottom left we have our storyboard. If you left click it you can see it says animate. Currently it's set to 4 seconds. Now you can left click it and change it here or you can just come here and select the minus button. Now if it is too fast for you you can always press the plus button and you can make it super slow. Now me, I think 3 to 2.5 seconds is really good for short text. Longer text I'll say maximum 4 seconds. It all depends on your talking speed and if you can keep up with the text being written on screen. Now, once again, I'll play this through so it's a bit longer, I mean quicker, welcome to my video, simple, and you can see it zooms in at the end. How do we take that off if you don't want it? Well, if you play it through again, at the bottom right, uncheck it, that's what you get. Now, next thing, let's add another scene. So this is where you now pick how you want the text to go off screen. If you want it to fly up, then you drag up. If you want it to drag left, then drag left. Now it's completely optional. For this, I'm going to drag it to the left so it's off screen. Bear in mind, it is still on your screen. So I can zoom out using the mouse wheel. As you can see, it's over here. So now you'll notice what we are actually working on is one entire blank canvas. And you'll see everything you make throughout your video. So now 
I'm going to add on some more text. So I'm going to press add new text again, and I'll just type in whiteboard animation. Once again, I'll center my text. This time I will be picking a yellow font and selecting the check and selecting the check, bringing up the font size. And there we go. Now, by default, it is five seconds. So once again, this is way too slow. I'm going to turn that down all the way to two seconds. Now, one thing I want you to notice, I'm going to play from the beginning. Welcome to my video, whiteboard animation. As you can see, it flicked off to the side. Now, at the bottom left, it also tells us how long the video currently is. So you can see it's at seven seconds at the moment. And now I'm going to drag up. And this time, I will be inserting a chart. Now I know this makes absolutely no sense what I'm doing, but of course when you do it, just make sure it makes sense. I'm just doing this just, just to show you how things operate on this program. So there we go, and then we also have a chart type, so you can see there's pie, a line, and a bar. Bar chart's probably the most common one, you can also pick colour, I do recommend colour. And then you also have the label font. So this is completely up to you if you want to change that or not. And then we have label location. Now inside does not work for me. I do actually prefer outside. Border thickness, up to you again. And then show values, I'm going to check that and select the tick. As you can see, our chart is now completed and it turns out how we wanted it. Now I can play this through. So I'm going to select it here from the bottom left. And then I'm going to select this play button, which says play from current element. As you can see, really nice, really simple, just like this. Now what I'm going to do is drag to the left. And this part right here, I'm going to be adding on an image. So you can see by default, we have images built in. There's the man I used, there's a picture I used in the example. And let's see, you can see these are all defaults which are built in with the program itself. Um, I'm going to go with, let's see what food and drink we have. I'll go with a burger because why not? And then once again, just left click it. You can see that's an eight second animation to draw. That is way too long. I'll turn that down to four, three seconds and play current element. As you can see, gets drawn like that. Now let's say you want to explain a bit about the burger, but you want to keep the burger on screen. Well, this is where things get a little bit more complex, but it's still really simple. So I'm going to drag the burger to the left, but still on screen. I'm then going to zoom out a bit, like here. Then I'm going to go back to the text, and I'm going to put a burger. I'm then going to select the tick, and I'll bring this up, and I'll put this right here. So, of course, we have a burger, and we have the burger itself. But if I play it through from the beginning, this is currently what we have. I'll just skip ahead to the burger part. So past this chart. So we draw the burger. As you can see, the burger goes off screen, and this is what we get. How do we fix that? Very simple. So what we're going to do is come back to the burger scene. As you can see, here it is. And I'm going to position this in the center. Now, we're going to select the burger scene from the bottom left, and all we're going to do is select this button which says set camera to position. Then we're going to come to the next scene, which is where the text is. I'm going to zoom out a bit. And keep it like this, and then we're going to press that same button. Now, if I play it through from the beginning, I'll just skip ahead. So the burger gets drawn. Burger gets pushed to the side text comes in. Then of course from there you can just add multiple different pieces of text to explain the burger. So this is what I've put. I won't say it because most likely I'll get demonetized. YouTube, I do want to point out that that is a zero so it doesn't say what you think it does you dirty buggers. And I'm going to change this font color to red. I'm going to select check, check. Now I'll drag this underneath like here. Now once again, I'll change this. Actually, it's at two seconds. That's good enough for me. Uh, just for safety, I'm going to select it. Select set camera position so it stays on this. Now I'll play it through from the beginning. So we have welcome to my video. Whiteboard animation. Then we have a random bar chart being drawn for no apparent reason. Of course, it does show the values and then it also adds color at the end. 
Then we come to the burger itself. The burger gets pushed to the side. Then types out a burger. Then it types out food. Now, like I said, that is a zero. So YouTube, you have no right to demonetize me. But anyway, guys, you get the point. It's that simple. Now, if I zoom out with my mouse wheel, you can see you can see everything we've created. Everything is right here. It's really simple to create. I'm not going to lie, when I first downloaded the program, I did have to play about probably for five minutes just to get used to how it was working. But honestly, after about five minutes of just playing about, it's really, really simple to use. So one last thing I'm going to be showing you is how to add your own images. So from the burger, we're going to drag up and then we're going to add new image. This time you come to the bottom left where it says import. As you can see there is the supported files. So I'm adding a picture of my cat. You can then choose the type of animation you would like. Would you want it to draw or just move in? Then we have a reveal or sketch. I'm going to select sketch. Now I'm going to select this tick box. Image is now loaded as you can see right here. And what we're going to be do is left click it. Again, you can see it's at eight seconds, a bit too long. I'm going to change that to four seconds. I'm going to come to the top right, play from current elements. As you can see, just like that, it sketches it in. Pretty cool how that works out. Now, in some cases, you can see that didn't look like it finished. So if we put that a bit longer where it was at eight and then play from the beginning again on this one. As you can see, it then takes a bit longer and it looks like it's actually getting drawn in. So the longer you let it go on for, then it creates the entire animation. Once again, you can scroll out and you can see everything is right here. Of course, once you are happy with everything, how do you save it? Well, first of all, you need to come up here and select save or export. You can call it whatever you want to. I don't mean literally, but I've done that anyway. Then you choose the folder, then you can save it. So that's just saving it as a project. That's not exporting it just yet. So how do we save it to the computer? Well, you come up to the top right and you come to this share icon, but it says download or publish. So we're gonna select that. As you can see, it says download video. You can go directly to social media. I'm gonna select download. As you can see, you can choose the format here, uh, completely optional. Probably MOV is gonna be the best. The size, you probably want full HD. Frame rate can stay where it is. And I'm gonna select check. As you can see, we are not allowed to export the video through a trial, but that is how you would do it. And you can see it's super simple and also directly to YouTube. But that is how you do it. And as you can see, it's simple to create. It's really easy to create. And in the end, it looks really nice. But once again, the program is known as Videoscribe. And no, this is not a sponsored video. Unfortunately, Videoscribe, if you are watching, please hit me up and allow me to give away some pro versions. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully it has come across as useful. A link to Videoscribe will be in the description.